folks, it's Steve with Prima Coffee here. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Bee House Coffee Dripper. This is one of the simplest drippers that we have. It's, it's probably our favorite dripper for getting people into pour over brewing uh, because it does a lot of the work for you. It takes a lot of the emphasis off technique, um, but it's nonetheless a really good quality dripper that's gonna get you some great cups of coffee. Now this is what's referred to as a Melita style drip cone. And that's uh, so named because of the Melita filters, like Melita first created these tapered cone style filters that have this flat bottom, sloped sides, and a, a sort of a circular top. So this does take these Melita style filters. It can take a number two or a number four. Um, it has two holes at the bottom. They're not super small, but they are a much smaller hole than something say, like the say V60 or Chemex would be. Um, and that, like I said, does a lot of the work for you because that limits how fast the coffee, the brewed coffee can actually drain through. So when you're brewing with this, um, you can take a much slower, kind of simpler approach to brewing your coffee. You can let the coffee steep a little bit longer um, and play with your grind size as the main variable for how fast that coffee is gonna actually brew. Um, which is, again, really great for beginners because it simplifies the whole process. It allows you to brew a great cup of coffee by hand, um, but it doesn't sort of punish you if your technique's not all that great. Um, to brew with this, I'm gonna start with my Melita filter here. Uh, this is a number four. Like I said, it can take a number two or a number four size filter. You'll notice that the number four hangs over the edge a little bit, and the number two is actually just a little bit down below the rim. So you wanna choose a filter depending on how much coffee you're making. This is the large size Bee House dripper. There's a small as well. The large is good for three to four cups of coffee or about maybe 700 milliliter brews. Um, I'm gonna brew a little bit less than that today. I'm gonna to get set up here. I've got my server. Now the Bee House's design is, is great for brewing on top of a cup because it has this great big window down here so you can see how full your cup's getting if you like to brew volumetrically. It also has this great ergonomic handle on the side so you don't have to grab a hot dripper uh, after you're done brewing. Now I've got 20 grams of coffee here. It's uh, sort of a medium coarse. Um, this is gonna be a 300 milliliter batch. So that's going to help me get my brew time down to about three, three and a half minutes. Okay, I'm gonna settle that out. I've got my kettle here. And much like other drippers, I'm gonna start with a bloom. You don't have to. If you grind uh, a little bit finer, you can basically just pour most of your water in nice and slow and steady um, throughout the course of the brew. And again, that, f that restriction from those two holes and the slope size is gonna create a little bit more steeping with the coffee. It'll have plenty of contact time and you should get a pretty good cup of coffee out of it. Um, now, because of that flow restriction, you're not gonna be able to really, really fine tune your brews. So a V60 we think is great because uh, if you really work on your pouring technique and your temperature and your grind and getting every, all those factors and variables, um, get them kind of reined in and, and work on all of them, you can get a much, much better cup of coffee that sort of rewards your efforts that go into making that. With the Bee House, it does kind of dull things down a little bit. That simplicity means that you won't necessarily be able to, say, brew for even more acidity or something like that, uh, or try and get a perfect balance between sweetness and everything else. Uh, you will get a pretty well-rounded cup of coffee, but you don't necessarily have as much control uh, over all the variables as you might with uh, different drippers. And that's totally all right, you know, for, for the price and the convenience of having a dripper that you don't really have to think about, you know, you're gonna get a really great product out of it in, in, uh, anyway. So what I'm doing here is I'm just pouring in slow concentric circles, small pours. I'm letting the dripper do most of the work again. And I'm going to finish my pour a little bit above 300 milliliters. And right now I've got a little over a minute and a half on my timer, so that should be just good for me. Um, but really, the, the Bee House is probably one of the, the best drippers to get if you're just looking for either something easy, you know, you don't wanna have to worry about it too much on your weekday mornings, or if you're just getting into pour over brewing and you're kind of intimidated by something like the V60 or the Chemex where there's all these different techniques you can employ. The Bee House really is just that simple manual drip, really easy to use, much like other Melita style drippers. 
but this one is a fantastic little porcelain dripper. And again, that, that big hole at the bottom is probably one of the best features for when you're just brewing a single cup. You know, if you don't have a server to see how full it is, you, uh, you can see how full your cup's getting um, without having to lift up the dripper or handle hot things or just go blind and hope for the best. But uh, that is the Bee House large style Melita style dripper. Thanks for watching.